The newer NW410 comes as a two microphone set inside an aluminium case and is currently sold by Amazon at $47.99. It comes with two foamies, two microphone holders and three capsules for the top to change the polar pattern of the microphones. So you can have Omni, Cardioid and Super Cardioid. Its frequency response is 30 to 18 kilohertz. It has a sensitivity of 38 dB plus or minus three, an output impedance of 100 ohms and its self noise is quoted as 24 dBA, which gives you a signal to noise ratio of around about 70 dB. It uses nine to 52 volts phantom power as well. What's really nice about the newer 410 is they're a solidly built pencil microphone. They take um, 48 volts phantom power to drive them. And so what I've done is I've got one above me here and it's connected into my Saramonic preamp underneath my camera, which is rather nice. But uh, there is an unusual thing about this other than just the price, which is pretty amazing for what you get. You get this solid aluminium box for a start to protect your microphones. It, they come in twos, one up there, one here, so that that's empty. Two holders, two microphone holders, not brilliant, but they'll do the job. I've changed them for something else up there, shock mount. Two foamies to cover the heads, but more importantly, it comes with these tops. And these screw on tops, they alter the, um, the polar pickup of the, of the microphone, which is really, really useful. You've got three pickups for each microphone. One is an Omni, one is a cardioid and one's a super cardioid. And um, I've tried them out and they really do have an effect on the sound. But the beauty is you can change the, the polar pattern of the microphone, but the sound doesn't change really too much between all three heads. Um, if anything, I think the Omni is slightly uh, crisper than the other two, but the other two do reject around uh, sounds from around you, which is really useful for these kinds of microphones. So at the moment, I'm using a super cardioid on a boom, and it's about a foot and a half away from me, pointing downwards, and I'm in quite an echoey kitchen, um, and uh, so that's why I use the super cardioid in order to try and... Um, get rid of some of the reflections in here. And um, I think the beauty of this setup is it's cheap, but also that you can change the pickup and the way that it um, rejects sound around it. The capsule that I've attached to the top of the newer at the moment is the omnidirectional one. Now this isn't the ideal one for in here because I'm in the kitchen and it's echoey. So with an omni, it's more likely to be picking up sound around and therefore a little bit more of the room. Um, so this is the sound of the Omni from the front, this is the sound of the Omni from the side, and this is the sound of the Omni from the back. And as I move it around, um, it's possibly not changing too much um, because it's supposed to be an Omni. Therefore, the sound remains hopefully the same. The only thing is, is maybe moving it around, I'm picking up different acoustics from the room. So this is the sound of the Omni. Um, when I listened to this one earlier, to my ears, this, this head sounds slightly crisper than the other two, but uh, the other two have got the rejection, which is very, very useful. The capsule I'm using now is the cardioid capsule. So it's picking up more from the front and from the sides perhaps, but not so much from the rear. And um, this one is possibly useful for helping to eliminate the sound of the room so that it might be a little bit cleaner, cleaner um, in my kitchen, which is like a bathroom because there's all hard surfaces in here. But uh, this is the sound of the cardioid from the front. This is the sound of the cardioid from the side. And this is the sound of the cardioid from the rear. And you can hear now that the sound is changing as I turn it around. Um, I did notice, as I say earlier, um, that the sound of this is slightly different to the Omni, perhaps not quite as crisp, but that rejection is going to be really useful in your filmmaking. So what I'm using now is the Super Cardioid, 
And uh, to my ears, this didn't sound a great deal different from the cardioid. And also to my ears, it didn't sound that different in the way that it rejects sound. But um, this is the sound of its super cardioid. And actually, by the way, looking at them, the two capsules look very, very similar in that they've got the same, um, the same cutouts in the heads. So um, I'm thinking that they're pretty much very similar in sound. But this is the super cardioid from the front. This is the supercardioid from the side. This is the supercardioid from the rear. Now on the rear, I would expect this to be picking up a little bit more than the cardioid um, and then back to the side and back to the front. So this one would be useful perhaps in a room like this where you've got quite a lot of reflections going on and it may help to reduce those reflections. Although uh, sometimes with shotguns and with the supercardioids, um, they are good at rejection, but only more so rejection of the higher frequency sounds than the lower frequency sounds. So that as you go to the back, it becomes more bassy and that can interfere with your front sound when you're speaking into these microphones in an echoey environment. So just to check for that, this, this is quite an echoey environment and I'm talking into the back of it and uh, I'm not sure if you're hearing it as a more bassy sound or at the side, whether you're hearing it more as a bassy sound. But that sound may interfere with the front sound, which sometimes makes cardioid, super cardioids and um, gunshot type microphones uh, a little bit difficult in these echoey uh, conditions. They're better outside, but um, I think indoors you have to be a little bit careful of that because um, the added bass frequencies can make your voice sometimes sound a little bit strange from the delayed refre reflections. So this is the super cardioid. Just to show you how these capsule tops work, what I've done is I've come into the front room and I've put the TV on. The TV is using a soundbar which is about seven foot away from me at the moment and I'm using the Omni pickup capsule on the microphone. So you're possibly picking up my voice nice and loud and it's clear because I'm close, about a foot away from the capsule, but you're also probably picking up the TV quite well as well. Just have a listen, this is the TV sound. And that sound is is about the volume I would normally listen in this room. So this is using the omnidirectional pickup and I'm now going to change it to another capsule at the top there to see if it does anything to that TV sound. Now the conditions are exactly the same. I've got the TV on, same distance, same volume, nothing has been changed. But all I've done is I've changed the capsule on the microphone to a cardioid pattern. I'm still about a foot away from the microphone and I'm speaking at a normal volume so that you can hear whether it picks the TV up as well. So if I just take a listen now. So that's the sound of the TV. Maybe if I turn the back of the microphone to the TV itself, that might help. And um, this is the one that I would perhaps use indoors more so than anything else. This is a, a cardioid pattern. Now this one is the super cardioid pattern capsule and again one foot away from my mouth and the TV is still on. See how this sounds now in comparison to my voice. Now the only thing with a, a super cardioid is this is maybe going to pick up a little bit more from the back, I don't know. So what I'm going to do is turn the back of the microphone towards the TV. That may be picking up a little bit more from the TV, but if I turn to the side and look into the camera, um, you may be picking me up maybe a little bit clearer than the Omni and uh, possibly slightly clearer than the Cardioid. I was really surprised at the quality of the package that you get for $47.99 from Amazon and the newer NW410 seems to sound quite nice. It's built beautifully, it's made in metal and inside it's brass and I think if you want to record in stereo you've got a nice little set there which you could set up if you wanted to or just use each as a, a mono separate mono microphone so I think really the newer NW410 is a great value package <laughs>